Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I am going to solve a very well known facility location problem that is called as a P median problem. So, in P median problem, the objective is we want to minimize the total demand weighted distance. So, total demand weighted distance, how we are calculating that is uh, this one basically, HI is indicating the demand of the customer I. DIJ is basically the distance traveled by the customer I to facility J, whereas YIJ is indicating if we have allocated the customer I to that particular facility J. So this is basically the total demand weighted distance. So we want to minimize this total demand weighted distance. So subject to the first constraint we have that each uh, customer must be assigned once okay to the to the to all the facilities right so that means that is uh, the first constraint and the second constraint is how many maximum number of facilities we can uh, allocate or you can say we can locate it so that is the p is the maximum facility we can open uh, and next uh, the last one is we can we are saying that we cannot assign uh, the customer to the facility unless it is open. So that is the last constraint uh, because XJ as well as YIJ both are the binary. So we are giving uh, to the uh, quantity or you can say the location that is basically the XJ which is a binary. If it is one then we can assign it otherwise we cannot assign the cust uh, customer to that facility. So both are the binary variable. So how we can solve this using OPL CPLEX. So as we have already discussed in our previous videos, how to create the OPL project. So I have created a OPL project, which is P median problem. So let me tell you quickly how you can do that. File new. So you can write down OPL project and then you should write down the name of the OPL project and tell the location where you want to save it and then you can add so as you know that in order to write the code we need a model file in order to set the data we need a create data file okay and then uh, we need also need to solve the problem configuration file and if you want to change some setting then you also need the setting file so i have already created that one that is with the name of p median so first of all I am going to code this uh, problem. Okay, so uh, I is basically uh, you can say warehouse right now in this uh, problem. I am considering as a, a facility and customer is my customer. Okay, so I am basically giving this uh, the index is so that means we have two indexes. One is I, another is J. Right, so I is basically representing uh, us that is basically the customer. Okay, so that is basically we are saying it string that is a set which is which is a customers and then we have the warehouses that is also we representing as a string. Okay, so this is basically a set of warehouses. We have set of customers. So in the previous video, we have discussed how we can define a set in integer perspective indices. Now we are discussing uh, here how we can define the string based indices. So that is basically this bracket is indicating as you know that is a set of string uh, indices. That means we have the number of warehouses, we have the number of customers and three dots are indicating that we have defined the data in a separate file. Okay, so that the, now the question is how many warehouses we have, how many customers we have that is we have defined in the p median uh, data file that is we are indicating uh, according to our problem we have the nine basically the warehouses we uh, sorry nine uh, you can say the options available in which we can open the uh, the warehouses similarly same is the customers right so that mean in order to meet the demand of uh, located customers over here we want to uh, I want to allocate uh, the facility in these locations so and the next question is that uh, how many maximum because we are in our problem the next thing we need to know is the P 
basically t is indicating the maximum number of facility we want to locate so that thing we have defined in an integer form and that number we have given is that is your according to your problem how many maximum facilities or the warehouses you want to locate so in my case the problem which i am going to solve that is basically the three the next thing we have uh, we are defining the uh, you can say uh, data that is basically the demand against each customer okay so that is basically indicating the uh, you can say uh, hi that is basically the demand uh, of every customer and dij that is also the data must be given us which is a distance matrix so hi that is basically the demand which we have indicated in a float so demand array customers and we have represented that demand over here right uh, similarly we have defined the distance matrix that is two dimensional array uh, where uh, we have the warehouse index we have the customer index and uh, with the help of that we have defined the distance matrix as you can see that the diagonal values are the zeros and the first row basically is indicating from node one or you can say from chicago uh, chicago to all the other uh, cities we have indicated the distance right similarly from uh, uh, atlanta to other we have indicated the distance that is so on right so this is basically the distance matrices as well as we have indicated the demand so this is the parameters as well as the data we have defined we have the two dcn variables one is that is xi uh, sorry xi that is uh, uh, sorry xj and we have yij so xj is indicating where we should locate the facility where yij is indicating should we allocate customer i to facility j okay so both are the binary variable so that mean in opl that would be considered as a boolean uh, data type so we are defining the decision variable d bar boolean open warehouse okay so the next one is uh, that is basically should we open the warehouse or not and the next is d bar boolean we are saying assign so that mean should i assign a particular customer to this warehouse or not so that is basically represented with yij okay now uh, once we have defined the indices we have defined the parameters and the data as well as the decision variable now we can define our objective function uh, as well as constraint so how we can do that we can do that we want to minimize uh, some of this one okay that is uh, we want to minimize so the objective is basically we want to minimize the total demand weighted distance uh, so as you know that whenever we are defining the objective in opl we usually use d uh, expr that is define expression but we cannot use over here define expression because uh, both the decision both the decision variables are the integer form so we want that the objective function must be in integer so that means there is no need to define uh, the keyword define express because define express is always used with the float type of the objective function so if your objective function can be a uh, fractional value can take fractional value then you have you can use define express otherwise there is no need to use that keyword so we can simply write down we want to minimize what we want to minimize this expression and what was that expression we are saying that some with respect to warehouses some with respect to customer this is basically the distance multiplied by demand multiplied by assigned variable that is this one okay so h i d i j y i j okay the next one is this is basically the total demand weighted distance so that we want to minimize okay next we have the constraint that is subject to we want to uh, uh, that is the first constraint which we have that is with respect to the customers that is uh, so each customer should be assigned once to the facility so how we can do that that is for all seen customers 
right? That is, uh, this is the name of this, these, this set of constraints. The sum W in warehouse assign is equal to one. So this is uh, only once we can assign the customer to the facilities. The next constraint we have that is the maximum number of warehouses we can open. So that is this one. Okay, so we have already given the maximum warehouses that is over here. Okay, so we define in the data file that is three. Okay, and then we are saying that the sum must be equal to this. So that means we can maximum open the warehouses three. And lastly, we have uh, seen that the last constraint is uh, we cannot assign customer unless the facility is open. So how we can do that? We have for all uh, warehouses, so WN warehouses, seen customers, that is a sign variable that is the customer should be assigned to the warehouse if uh, the uh, facility is open so that is less than or equal to open so this is uh, the how we can model this t model uh, t median model problem in opl c plex and, uh, and next what i am going to do that i am solving this problem using the main block uh, from the OPL. So what is the main block? Basically, uh, OPL will start reading the code from here. So it will go uh, to the main block. Okay, and in a main block, the first command is written that is this OPL model that means over here. Okay, so after the main model, it will start reading this model. So this OPL model dot generate. So that means solve this problem. Okay, against this model, whatever the data set we have used, solve this um, problem. Okay, once you have solved it, check it if CPLEX has solved this problem. Mean if CPLEX uh, obtained the optimum solution, then go inside this condition, otherwise, write down no solution uh, CPLEX has found. Okay, so once we have found the solution, we are saying that a uh, variable of file that means output file so this is the variable i have defined i am writing down basically what i am doing that i am writing down the solution in my output file so this is basically o, o file is the name of the variable in which we i am storing the solution or we can do that we can use the keyword new uh, that is i l o uh, o p l output file so make sure i is capital O, o for OPL is capital output O is capital files F is capital so this is a function and then you can give the uh, you can say path where you want to store the answer and make sure your uh, slash must be the uh, front slash not the backslash otherwise it will give you the error okay and the file I am giving the name of the file is answer dot text so where I am storing my answer or you can say I am getting my answer in this particular file. So the next thing what I am saying that write the solution of this problem okay in this uh, O file variable. So how we can do that I am saying that O file that is output file dot write line this OPL model again this is the OPL model uh, which we have used to solve it dot print solution. So whatever the solution I have uh, receive it write in that particular file okay which is save in o file okay similarly we are right i'm writing down uh, the computational time again uh, as i have shown in my previous video that how you can set the cpu time so let me show you again you can go to your setting file which is dot ops if i have uh, we should double click over here you can Go to the mathematical programming under general tab. You can see the computational time reporting and you can select. So by default, it is fall clock time. So we should select CPU time if you want to take the CPU time. Okay, so that's why uh, I'm saying solving CPU uh, time. It must be shown to me. That is CPLEX. That is the keyword of the solver dot get CPLEX time right so that is our function so once we get the solution once we get the computational time then i am saying off dot close so that means close that file okay after writing uh, 
uh, the solution in that file, close that file. As well as I am doing the post processing. Post processing means uh, uh, not the post processing. Basically, I am also writing the solution of the objective function as well as the computational time in my script log as well. So how you can do that? We can use var. That is again a keyword of OPL. Uh, actually, not an OPL. Basically, it's a JavaScript keyword. So basically, in a pre-processing as well as a post-processing uh, in OPL, we are using the JavaScript. So var that is uh, we are saying we are defining the variable of OBJ in which I am storing the answer of the objective function of the problem. Similarly, I am writing down the answer of the objective function. Okay, so this is. Uh, the complete line which we can see while we are uh, when we solve this problem in the script log that would be shown in obj uh, and then we are writing down the uh, computational time so let's run this problem to solve it okay so after as you know that once we have written down the code we have uh, entered the data we need to uh, send these file in our uh, you can say as well as the setting data as well as model file in our configuration file and then we should write on right click run this okay so once we run this cpex will start solving this particular problem okay so once uh, cpex is able to solve the problem now we can if we go to the script log as you can see that whatever we have written over here okay so that is the value of the objective function value is that is this one. This is a total de uh, uh, demand weighted distance um, customer has to travel. Okay, and this is basically the computational time that is a CPU computational time. As you know that you can also check the solution over here. This is the objective function. These are the answers of the decision variable. But as we have written down the solution in our external file which is the answer file if we go to that folder and i'm clicking on the answer file you can see that the answer is this one that is objective function solution this is our these are the decision variables answer so right now what they are saying that we should open the first facility first location facility which is what that is basically the chicago okay so we should open the facility at chicago Similarly, at a third location and the four, uh, uh, eighth location because we have total nine, uh, nine basically locations. So first, third, and eighth. Similarly, as you can see that in assign, we can uh, check uh, first row. We will see that that is basically indicating that uh, we should open the facility one and uh, assign customer number one then four, uh, five, six uh, to the facility one. Similarly, you can see that we should open facility number three and then we should assign uh, the customer at facility number three, then eight and nine. Similarly, we should open eighth facility and uh, which customer we should assign? We should assign customer number two as well as customer number eight. So this, these are the answers of the decision variable. I hope you understand. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Kindly do subscribe this channel. Thank you so much.